Morning guys. Cheers. Saga coffee. <laughs> so I'm back taking the chaga mushroom and the C60 in olive oil. So um Let's see. So today the Saints play at like 3.30, something like that. And they play the Atlanta Falcons. Playoff game, right? Hey, BitBoy. <laughs> what you think? <clears throat> I mean, I really don't know what to think there. So, so many on injured reserve and... I don't know. I, I, I'm surprised. I'm really surprised the Saints are in a playoff game, really. But, <clears throat> you know, kind of surprised Atlanta is too, really. Anyway, um, so looking around at the market today, a lot of coins are on sale. Um, but yet, how far is the sale gonna go on, you know? So if you're like me and <clears throat> you have a dollar cost average, you can't just like, don't just have a whole lot of money sitting on the side. I'm kinda, I, I'm gonna stick to my guns with this one. Um, where I'm gonna put low ball offers across out there um, just to remain on the books. <clears throat> I mean, I'm looking at some right now. It's like, oh my goodness. <clears throat> like persistence, XPRT, you know, like $5 and some change. It's like, wow, dude, maybe it was $4 and some change. I, I don't, I don't quite remember. I looked at it just real briefly this morning when I claimed my rewards from staking, right? And um, it's like, wow, because <laughs> I threw like 10,000 at that and now it's down to like 60, 600, somewhere around there. <clears throat> now I bought at different intervals too, so try to lower that dollar cost average, but excuse me, man, right now, wow. Because persistence, the XPRT, that, that was one of Michelle White Dove's other coins that she said was going to do really, really well, but it might take longer than like what Theta did, right? So I was like, all right, whatever. Uh, for me, it was just mud at the wall. You know, it's like, hey, look, Theta did, look at what Theta did for me, right? So I was like, why not? A um, little more digging and diving into it, so it seems kind of cool. <clears throat> like I said, just a, a little position. So it wasn't like I, I threw, you know, 10 Bitcoin at it or something crazy. So, <clears throat> you know, just like, why not? And that gets into other things, like other coins that I don't own. I've looked at owning many times in the past like I look at Zillica you know it's like that's another one I, I, I wouldn't mind owning right and then the other night in the uh, Twitter spaces we, we were the the name of um, <clears throat> Polygon came up you know, Matic Polygon so and uh 
I never really did a whole deep dive into Polygon before. I, I remember years ago, I say years ago, it might have been a year ago, um, where it was a, a staking coin, I believe. Maybe I'm getting that mixed up with a different one, but I, I believe it was a staking coin where you could have a node. But anyway, Polygon, <clears throat> if you go to their website, like you go to coin market cap, then you go to whatever coin that you're looking for, click on the actual coin, and then you go directly to their website. And it's like Polygon dot technology or something like this. Anyway, you scroll all the way down at the bottom, go over to general. <clears throat> so under general, they have a tab for careers and they are hiring so many, um, some, they have so many positions available. You know, now granted the price went from two cents to like $2 and 88 cents right now. It's retraced back down to about $2. Um, so, I mean, here again, though, are they reinvesting those funds for their um, R&D, right? So, because now news broke of Polygon hiring like 7,200 developers. And it's like, wow, wow. 7,200 developers. So I, I, I question a few things there. <laughs> Excuse me. I question a few things there, like, like where did those funds come from? Was that like part of, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know enough. I haven't dug into whether they ICO'd or what not and so much was allocated as a you know for their R&D or for development and everything else <clears throat> you know because I, I look around at other projects that are you know used to be a big thing of being decentralized so <clears throat> But anyway, I started diving into Polygon a little bit. And it seems really interesting, right? Because Ethereum can't scale. So, and this is to be the Ethereum, the internet of Ethereum? I mean, hmm. That's interesting. So... I look further and it is coding in solidity. So <clears throat> not that it is a solidity bridge like what Bitcoin Cash did or is it? You know, and a lot of other projects are looking at some sort of a solidity bridge as far as to help onboard other of these Ethereum projects when Ethereum won't be able to scale. So, same thing. I reflect back to Amisigo. Amisigo was supposed to solve all that years ago. I don't know what's going on there. Um, don't know if that's going to, you know, actually a achieve that for Ethereum 2.0. Um, but... Anyway, uh, here I go diving in to uh, Polygon in the Matic, and then I, I, I see like there it's um, there are different forks, and there it, it seems like a bridge into Polkadot, and then another bridge into Cosmos, or and good morning, or Atom. You know, and Cosmos has like nine different blockchains that are all separate. So, but they have the, um, they can converse to one another. 
So this might be something to take a deeper look at. Uh, seems kind of cool, but uh, uh, still many questions. Just throwing this out there. Do your own research because that's what I got to do, right? But at $2, I don't know. I'm not really a buyer. Here again, though, you know, throw a little woo-woo out there on it. You know, it's like now I'm hearing. I, I just went back and I listened to... Um, Litecoin Lisa uh, with a interview with SL369. Speaking, of, and a lot of these people are starting to come up talking about, you know, Matic, Polygon. And, you know, I, I know that other things exist. However, at times I'm. I can't pull, put full faith in that, you know? I mean, look, if that works for you, I, I'm, that's great, you know? It's, you know, but I, I was looking more at, at what they're, more at what they're doing than, you know, wishing upon a star. However, <clears throat> at the same time, I'm listening to you know, Litecoin Lisa, JSNP4, and Jean-Claude, and Bix Weir, and their whole discussion, and, um, you know, it, you know that, that's great, you know, Snippy had a, Snippy had a, had another dream of another coin about the train leaving the station, whatnot. Sounds great, you know? I, I, I just, I need, I need more research into it before I pull the trigger on anything, you know? That's just me, maybe I'm wrong. I don't think so though. Um, <clears throat> So anyway, looking around the market today, there there are so many coins that are on sale. Like I said, though, what <clears throat> you know, the the problem that I used to have is that I would as soon as I were to get any amount of funds, and those funds were then deposited into an exchange, is the moment that they cleared, I used to buy. Boom, that day, whatever whatever day that those funds cleared. Now, it's more like, you know, when those funds clear, I'm now either leaving that on an exchange to put these lowball offers across the board, or I'm really beginning to study more, I would say, into these other projects. So, I mean, there's just so many coins out there that are really good, you know, that I can't own them all, you know, no one can, so, unless you can print your own fiat, right? <clears throat> so, then the issue that I'm having now, also, in addition to that, is, I remember way early on having to wait for my funds to be able to clear the exchange for a deposit right in order to then make a purchase now it seems you know you can make your deposit and then make a purchase immediately however those funds you cannot withdraw until those funds clear so I, I'm I, I, I don't do that even because a lot of times the coins that are offered on an exchange are not the coins that I'm, I'm looking to purchase. So I'm not willing to purchase that coin, some other coin, off the exchange, sit and hold on to that to then transfer. Because I still don't know what the market's going to do. Right? Whereas I remember 
I was early on into Abra, A-B-R-A. It was an app on my phone that I could use. And Abra used to, they, they don't do this anymore, but used to, you can initiate a deposit into Abra and then your funds would clear like in an hour or two, but definitely within one day. And that was the quickest onboarding that I have yet to find. And I, I don't know now of another that that is able to do that. However, now Abra is down to, I think it takes like 60 days in order to withdraw your funds after your deposit, which I think is just stupid. Um, I think that's driving more people away. At least it did me, right? Because that was why I joined Abra was so that way my purchase was then basically immediate. I didn't have to wait six, seven, eight days for funds to clear onto an exchange. So if y'all know of another exchange where your funds can be, I don't want to say not instant, but they clear within a day, right? Because, I mean, really, an ACH, once that clears, I mean, at max, I would think would be three days, right? That's what I would think. But, you know, they do six, seven, eight days now. So, and, um, you know, Gemini, and Gemini and Gemini Active Trader, I can deposit those funds and yes, I can trade those, trade that immediately. Uh, however, I, I cannot, they don't offer the coins, all of the coins that I want. You know, like Digibyte, for instance, is not on Gemini. I wish it was because the United States needs more options. You know, same thing, like if I wanted Polygon, Matic. I don't think that's on Gemini, but you got every damn Inu coin out there and you got all this garbage. And it's like, why? If anything, I, I used to think that Gemini and Coinbase were more selective, right? You know, maybe these are just backroom deals. You know, how can you lie in my pocket? That's what it seems like anyway. Which, at the same time, I have to question. It's because, don't you make money every time someone places a buy or a sell? I mean, that, that, what is the difference, I feel? You know, and same thing, why haven't you released XRP? You know, that, that's still not available there. I mean, there are different ways to go about getting it. You know, but, um, you know, that, that shouldn't be. That, that should have been able to freely trade again in the United States. Ugh. So, anyway, um, just a few things to going on upstairs today, you know, so I, I'm still trying to compile video footage. I haven't figured out all of it yet. So I'm trying to make this, trying to figure out an easier way to do this because this was my hang up using the GoPro a while back was trying to compile the footage and that kind of stuff, put it all together because it doesn't come up, you know, in order as you would think. It's just like a bunch of files and then the camera separates the files on its own. And it's like, oh, well, great. You know, I can't just click and shoot, you know, and that would be file one, file two. Nope. Nope. Doesn't work that way. So trying to piece everything together and put it in their own files on their computer and then 
clear off the uh, the storage space storage space of the SSD so then I can reuse those cards you know reformat them and that sort of stuff after I save the footage right so anyway all of this is a learning curve being legally blind with diabetic retinopathy and glaucoma so yeah <laughs> I mean how far I've come today from the camp I went to for the blind right where I learned to use a computer without a mouse or a monitor so there's no instruction for any of this so I'm just trying to play with the buttons figure out what works anyway got a few things to do today um, gotta get I gotta get the grass cut I hear my neighbors already cutting the grass because like I said the football game starts at 3:30 central so you know I at least want to listen to the game so my goodness oh the funny thing is I just realized this morning that the last two videos <laughs> have a copyright claim now on them now the one I did <clears throat> yesterday as far as like with the New Jersey meetup I don't understand that copyright claim because that was live music it was a live band who was playing so YouTube YouTube creators YouTube studios all this I, I, I don't get how that is a copyright I really don't um, that was not the original artist on stage that was a band playing I mean I don't I don't get that the other one I do understand I had the um, the echo show playing music I, I get I, I, I understand that one uh, and that one I'll take down you know but that's like a while back I had like six or seven different copyright claims that I didn't understand so I, I I fought them and but it took like months many many months I mean some people on YouTube this is how they earn a living I mean you know I'm just learning right now you know it's uh, this is not I don't view this as employment I, I view this as you know fun really um, and then a way that I get to speak back and forth to other friends and go over different things and help other people out you know that that's why I, I, I began all of this is because you know that there, there's you know there needs to be more help for the disabled in order to invest Whereas everyone else out here, like Dave Ramsey and everyone else, they just shut the disabled down as far as telling them that they cannot invest. There is a way to invest. I, I've mentioned it many times in previous videos how I was able to do it. To invest and without having to worry about forfeiting any benefits of Social Security disability or Medicare I've done it I did it even with rental property with cryptocurrency with a few different things so you have to form a trust same thing if your child is disab disabled and you want to leave an inheritance for your child you form a trust for that child a supplemental needs trust and you get an EIN number for that child or for yourself if you're disabled and you use that EIN number in place of your Social Security number that's how I run everything 
through the trust. Same thing with exchanges, right? So use the uh, trust and the EIN number, but you have to form a, uh, or you have to fill out all the paperwork and everything for an institutional account and not just a regular trading account. So you can't just like use the app, you know, to uh, place trades. So I, the only one I've found that I can do that with so far is Gemini. So Gemini Trust, uh, Winkleboss Twins. So sincerely, thank you for that. So anyway, look, <clears throat> that's about it. I got to get the road on the show this morning. Y'all be cool. Later.